Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an AWS estimate right here. Okay, so let's say you just joined a company and perhaps your boss is wants you to wants to move their data to the cloud. Okay, this is you right here. That's your boss. Okay, and he wants to move his services to the cloud. Okay, and then um, suddenly you tell him that okay, you know about this very great service called AWS, and you like you think is a good fit for you. The boss is going to ask you questions, going to ask you, okay, how much would this service cost? And that's when you have to go and do your maths. Tell him exactly how much each service will cost based on what he demands of you. Okay, so well, how you do this is by going to the website here, known as um, Calculator AWS. So basically, when you go to your browser and you go to AWS Calculator, Calculator, that should be your first result right here. So when you select that result right here, it leads you onto this page here, the AWS calculator, calculator.aws. All right. So once you're here, you can now create an estimate. To, to make an estimate, simply you don't have to log into the account. You can see right now I'm not logged in, so you're good. Just go right here and click on create estimate. Click right there. It leads you to this page. And once you're on this page, you can search by location. Now, this function. This function will help you search by location. Now it's better to search a location based on who will be the consumers of that service. Set that location, right? And not just search all services, right? You want to be focused here. So if you know your location, search by location here. You put your region here, local region here. Okay. Once you're happy with that, you can actually go to the service here. This is where you put in, you put in the service. Okay. Likewise, you can go right here and choose the exact region. Okay, I'll just leave it at this where you can choose your region, the region that matches with your choices, right? Whatever you, you, you discuss with your boss. Okay, so while you're here, you can choose the service right here. I'll go for the basic service like EC2. Okay, and that's Amazon EC2 right here. And you click on configure. Now, obviously, you know more details about what you've been needing from your, um, based on what your boss discussed with you. So you can simply just enter a name here. Let's say EC2 estimate. Okay. And here you can choose your region here. Leave it at this. It's already chosen, selected. You can go right here. And I think it went back by, by step. Let's go back to our estimate. Okay. So let's go back. Sorry. I think I went back by step. So let's choose back, um, uh, EC2 estimate, EC2 estimate, and then we go here, leave our region the same. Go here and we can choose the tenancy. You can choose shared instances or you can choose a um, dedicated host if we want to, but let's see the shared instances. We go right here and choose your OS. It's going to be Windows, maybe for me, for you, might be Linux. Okay, so you can choose Linux right here for you. And then you go here, you choose here workloads. You choose the graph that best represents your monthly workload. Now, this is when you consider exactly if you guys are likely to have weekly or daily spikes or monthly spikes, or if it's going to be like a constant usage, right? So you can choose any of these ones here. Let's choose um, a weekly spike, okay? Weekly spike. And here you can choose here what the baseline will be, guys. But if you're not sure of all that, you can just go ahead and choose a constant usage, which is what you estimate, right? Because this is simply an estimate, okay? So you go right here and you choose the instance type here that you want to set up, okay? Choose your instance type here, whatever you want to choose here, you can choose it. And go right here and you select any instance family if you want to, or you choose the exact family of instance that you're looking for based on your needs. You can choose that right here. Let's just put a um, C5, for example. Put um, CPUs, put any CPUs here if you want. You can put eight here for eight CPUs and any memory here. Your memory selection here will probably be huge. Let's go to, let's say we're a big company and we consume like, um, let's say up to, up to 3,000, that's three terabytes, right? Three terabytes. Uh, this and then this is network efficiency here, performance, sorry, which is right here. Uh, let's leave it at that. And you can go right down here to choose all the features right here. Here it says here your payment options. Do you want to pay, um, have a reservation for a year or for three years or how do you really want it, right? This is the EC2 savings plan and this is the on demand plan. This is spot instances. Let's say you want to choose, um, EC2 instance savings plan. Okay. Choose down right here and choose one year. Okay. 
this will all this will all you know adjust the price or the estimate based on you know the selection right here so you can scroll down here and it tells you the cost of each of them right here so we're going for the cheapest as you can see right here um about the cheapest but this is by the hour so you can really compare them right so if you go down here you can choose here um go down here and choose your your ebs your elastic block store if you want to go right there if, but if you don't have any use for that you can leave it right there it says it's optional it's optional these are all optional right here so if you're not sure what to enter right here you can leave them here and go to where it says um save add add service if you want to add more services but if you want to save and view summary okay let's say you're adding only ec2 service for your boss you can go here and say save and view summary and there you go and this will be the summary is generated right here so you can see right here if you want you can export the summary if you like to you know as um pdf and show it to your boss or you can just do a simple a simple csv file actually to your boss as well let's have a look at this let's do pdf okay it says do not show this again and let's say okay there we go that is the document right here you can save it and print it if you want to but show your boss this your boss has a clue of what he's expecting as per cost okay so let's just close this right here and go into adding another service let's say at this uh, estimate we're not really happy with it let's say we just realized that we need to add more services we can go right here and say add service okay and now we can search again by location if we like and add our region here once we're happy with the region we can go right here to add the service name let's say we'll do uh db dynamo okay i'm gonna say dynamo okay the amazon dynamo right here okay so choose the amazon dynamo here and then you can choose configure to set the details okay and now we're on this page we can set the same details right here we can just put here dynamo dynamo estimate okay this is just an example guys okay leave our regions the same way once again is, is um taking us back let's go back to the right page okay so do amazon dynamo estimate and then leave our regions the same way then we can scroll down here we can scroll down okay so right now we're scrolling down you can see right here it says here table class this is where you see the dynamo offers two table classes right here you can choose between the standard and the standard infrequent access choose any one you want here and then this is all going to be based on your needs right so here you see data storage here let's go for let's say we do three data storage and go for average item size here we can add um we can add um let's see we can add make it six maybe something go higher okay add it to make it six okay i think it's a little bit stuck on this page let's go for six okay and go to this is so uh, six gigs and this is six sorry three gigs and this is uh, six kilobytes okay i'll probably go for more of this right let's uh, six kilobytes here uh, let's do 100 kilobytes this is just an example guys okay 100 kilobytes okay okay and we can go right down here and make other selections that we want but once we're happy with all these we can simply choose save and add service to add more services or we can do save and view summary let's click on save and view summary right here and once you do this guys you can see that this is the summary here it includes both of them as you can see right here this is how it, it, it appears and you can do the same thing you can export here in pdf csv json file you can share as well as a link okay you can share this as well if you want to so this is how you create an estimate here and it's free of charge to create so don't worry about anything you don't even have to sign into the account uh, to have an account they are signed into the aws platform you can create an estimate like this all right guys i hope it was helpful please leave a like subscribe to the channel and bye for now